The Royal Reckoning King Charles's controversial move to sideline Harry and Meghan's kids. In a move that has sent shockwaves through the House of Windsor, King Charles III has made the bold decision to remove Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's children, Archie and Lilibet, from the official line of succession to the British throne. This unexpected shakeup within the royal ranks has ignited a firestorm of controversy, with loyalists rallying behind the king's vision for a slimmed-down monarchy, while critics decry the decision as a petty and vindictive gesture against the estranged Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But before we continue please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. The new rules, implemented by the king in the aftermath of Queen Elizabeth II's passing, stipulate that only those royals actively undertaking official duties on behalf of the crown will be included in the line of succession displayed on the royal family's website. As Archie and Lilibet are no longer considered working royals, following Harry and Meghan's high-profile step back from their royal responsibilities, they have been effectively sidelined from this prestigious ranking. While Archie and Lilibet will still be recognized as British princes and princesses by royal protocol, the removal of their names from the official succession line has stripped them of their HRH, his, her royal highness, titles, and the taxpayer-funded security details that come with such a designation. This decision has undoubtedly stung for the Duke and Duchess, who have been embroiled in a bitter feud with the firm since their dramatic exit from royal life in 2020. Prince Harry, in particular, is said to be incensed by the king's move, viewing it as a further attempt to marginalize him and his children from the family's inner circle. In the wake of the Sussexes' tell-all interviews and blistering accusations against the royal institution, this latest snub is seen as an unambiguous message that Harry and Meghan, along with their offspring, have no place in the House of Windsor's future plans. Harry feels that this is the final nail in the coffin, the last act of petty revenge by his family against him and Meghan. A source close to the Duke told a British tabloid, he believes this is Charles's way of cementing the fact that, as far as the monarchy is concerned, he, Meghan, and their children are outsiders. The king's defenders, however, argue that this move is not about punishing the Sussexes, but rather a practical and necessary step in shaping the monarchy's path forward. With public funds and resources stretched thin, they contend that the crown can no longer afford to support peripheral royals who do not actively contribute to the institution's operations and public duties. His Majesty is determined to streamline the monarchy and ensure that only those who are genuinely invested in serving the crown receive the full benefits and privileges associated with royal status, a palace insider revealed. It's nothing personal against Harry and Meghan. It's simply a matter of redefining the parameters of who gets to be considered a working royal. Underpinning this restructuring is the king's vision of a more efficient, cost-effective, and publicly engaged royal family, a stark contrast to the expansive, often opulent House of Windsor that characterized the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. By limiting the ranks of core royals, Charles hopes to reinvigorate public interest and support for the monarchy, which has faced mounting criticism in recent years over issues of relevance, transparency, and taxpayer expenditure. The king recognizes that the public's appetite for an ever-growing royal family, with all its associated costs and privileges, has waned, noted royal commentator Penelope Fitzwilliam. By streamlining the succession and focusing on those who are actively contributing to the crown, he's aiming to shore up the monarchy's longevity and appeal in the 21st century. Yet, for Harry and Meghan, this move represents yet another blow in their ongoing battle to carve out an independent life away from the constraints of the firm. Having already relinquished their roles as senior working royals, the exclusion of their children from the line of succession is seen as a final, unequivocal message that they have been permanently cast out from the royal fold. Harry and Meghan had always hoped that, even if they couldn't be part of the inner circle, their children would at least maintain their rightful place in the line of succession, the source close to the Duke explained. But with this decision, it's clear that the king has drawn a firm line in the sand essentially saying that Archie and Lilibet have no future role to play within the monarchy. As the dust settles on this latest royal drama, the question remains. Will Harry and Meghan's estrangement from the House of Windsor ever be healed? Or has King Charles's decisive move irrevocably severed their ties to the institution? With tensions running high and trust in short supply, the future of the once inseparable family appears grimmer than ever before. One thing is certain. The reverberations of this controversial decision will be felt for years to come, 
as the royal family navigates the treacherous waters of a rapidly evolving 21st century monarchy. For now, the House of Windsor stands divided, with King Charles determinately charting a new course, even if it means leaving some of his own flesh and blood behind.